Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Zach. I am coming at you with a one month review of my new Orangewood Morgan Mahogany series acoustic guitar. Uh, quick little bit about myself. I've been playing guitar for almost 20 years. I would consider kind of at the semi almost amateur professional level at one point in my life. Uh, traveling. Um, I've had the pleasure and privilege of trying out a lot of different gear in a lot of different settings. These days, primarily acoustic. Um, I'm coming off of a Martin, uh, one of their smaller body AAA series, um, which is, I guess, kind of like you could consider it entry level. But I mean, still, it's a Martin. You know, they're great guitars. So suffice it to say, about a month and a half ago, when um, the guts crapped out on me, I'm not sure if it's a pickup issue or a connectivity issue, I just didn't have the time to really sink my teeth into it and figure out what was up because I had some other obligations to play for. What's up, buddy? There's a uh, baby's uh, following me. He's following you? Yeah. Just ignore him. Sorry, we have a mean cat. Um, but yeah, so I had heard a lot about this company, Orangewood. They operate pretty much exclusively online they don't do like middlemen or retailers you have to purchase it directly from them and uh i had seen a lot of reviews from uh more successful youtubers doing like initial box openings that i was not entirely convinced were like accurate or indicative of the typical retail experience so uh i figured rather than do that i would I would road test it a little bit. I'd play it for a month. Um, I'd change the strings because uh, Orangewood, they send these out with just very standard Ernie Ball, some kind of acoustic string, and uh, they sounded like crap. They died on me real quick. So today I actually, well, I already threw the packaging away, but uh, I put on some of the uh, Diodario, like the, the XLs, I think, like the really nice matte white packaging, um, coated, silk woven, whatever, you know, just awesome strings, just to see if it made a difference, and it did. So I, uh, I'm just gonna hop right into it here. I said, the thing that sold me on this, again, the minimalist headstock, uh, you know, the simple writing, Great rosewood fretboard. I believe it's rosewood. Um, it's a uh, engineered mahogany body, like composite wood. So, you know, it's not solid, which I guess if you're a purist affects the sound a little bit. But uh, for me, it hasn't made too much of a difference. Uh, the only real issue I've had with it, the lower end, like it sounds good, but the registry isn't like, it isn't crazy, um, but yeah, cutaway neck here. You can get down here and really rip it if you want to. The signature orange wood wings at the 12th fret. It's a nice little touch. Um, the neck, nice thin neck. I got, I got like big hands, um, so it's it doesn't feel small in my hands, but at the same time, it wouldn't feel cumbersome for somebody who like doesn't have like these crazy piano fingers that I grew up with. Um, the action on it, that's kind of where this guitar shines. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like here's a nice rich low end E. It's the standard E chord. And then you come up here, up the octave. And uh, I kind of tested the intonation out in a few different situations and it's just like, just honestly you see I mean whoever set this up out in California um, again these guitars are um, made overseas somewhere in Asia but they are, they're advertised as set up and tested out and kind of like the, the finishing bells and whistles are done here in the States over in California. Um, they send you a sweet gig bag, which, you know, 
padded, solid, sturdy construction. I'm not mad about it. I mean, I'm still gonna use my hard case. Um, also a nice touch that they did not advertise on their site or that I hadn't seen anywhere else. They sent me this cool, fun, hip Ernie Ball strap. You know, whatever. it's not really my style, but it's kind of got that vintage sort of like folk rocky look that uh, I know a lot of people are going for these days. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and Uh, I also capo a lot, like when I play out, just because I kind of have my sweet spot of where I like things to be. And up the neck, there's no, no tuning issues there, no intonation issues. The neck still feels tight. Uh, everything feels sturdy. There's no, there's no fret rattling. You know, sometimes uh, this can change the action where like, I mean, that's up on the fourth fret. You can bring it up to a seven. I've messed with it and there's zero problems. So uh, I'd say this guitar is just super sound. Like I said, the, the tone quality is not quite as rich as uh, the Martins or Taylors that I've played. Um, Sorry, low battery. But at a $300 price point, this is a freaking steal. I do not regret purchasing this guitar one bit. Um, I will be using this guitar out. Like I said, this is an honest, unpaid, unbiased one month review of the Orangewood again. I purchased the Morgan Mahogany series, which honestly is like at their lower end. Um, their price points get up to like $1,000, $1,200, um, which is for a good guitar is pretty typical. So I'd be interested to see what the higher end models on these bad boys can do, but for just the introductory daily driver, I'm not upset. So kudos to you, Orangewood. I will, uh, I'll keep on playing. So yeah, thanks for your time. Best of luck. Uh, take care of yourselves, everyone. Much love. Keep playing on. Boom.